Hey guys, I'm Kida and today uh, I'm going to tell you what is web scraping and uh, we're going to see how to perform web scraping using Python language and a library called as Beautiful Soup. So what actually is web scraping? Web scraping is uh, you create a small application. For example, you want all the images of this particular website called GitHub. For example, like say you want this image or the background image. Uh, then you what you do usually you right click it go to inspect element check this you see that you have a URL here you go to this uh, URL here oh shit oh god no <laughs> okay see no and you copy it open it to new tab and that is how you image and you right click and click on save images so you get that in a, such a laborious process but if there are 100 images like this, it is a really tedious task for you, right? So for that purpose, we perform web crawling, which will automatically go to this website, get each and every image from this website. And, you know, you can even download the image and save it in a folder. And everything happens in a few seconds. Isn't that amazing? Yes, right? So that is what this web, web crawling is. So in the chat and let's get started with the components you require to perform this application or so-called web crawling or web scraping. So the first thing you would be needing is Python 3.6. Uh, you can just verify it by going to your command prompt and clicking on Python. It shows you the version of Python you have installed. I prefer 3.6 but not 3.7 because 3.7 is uh, really new so it might be having a little bugs. We don't know. It depends upon the libraries and 3.7 to cooperate with each other. So that's the reason I prefer 3.6. And uh, once you have it, and you can install Python by just going into python.org. It's their official website. Once you go to python.org, you can just go to downloads 3. Point, this is oh, you got 3.8. Go to list and click on 3.6 any version. Just click on download your Windows, download Windows version or whatever. Next, what you need is Beautiful Soup. So you install Beautiful Soup using pip. Pip is a Python's package installer. It stands for package installer for Python. So pip uh, is used to install beautiful soap like this. Pip space install space bs4. bs4 stands for beautiful soap version 4. I've already installed it. That is the reason I, uh, you, I get an error if I try installing it. I can show you that I've already installed beautiful soup by clicking on pip freeze. I get a list of components that I've already installed. As you see, I have beautiful soup 4, right? So, if you don't know how to install pip, uh, uh, you can just go to the link in the description. The first one shows you how to install pip, okay? Uh, so, once you've installed beautiful soup, you have to start programming in Python. I prefer the Python's IDLA because it's simple and cute. So this is run shell again. So the first thing you have to do is import uh, import the components. So the first component you'll be requiring is requests. So requests is an inbuilt uh, library uh, by Python. So what it does is it sends requests to say a web page, access a web page. Next is importing beautiful soup from BS4 import beautiful soup as bs so what it does is uh, it instead of writing the entire request i can just write it as r from the next time in the program instead of writing bs4 uh, instead of writing beautiful soup you can write bs okay so first thing is url our url is https github.com okay so our first main aspect is to get the URLs from GitHub. Okay, now HTML is, uh, is where I try to store the pages. So it is uh, r dot get URL get 
Okay, so uh, I'm sorry. Shit. Okay, so what it does is it goes to the URL and gets to the context. Okay, and stores it in HTML. Now we have to use beautiful soup and uh, let's say I store it in the variable s. <coughs> Excuse me. Now s contains all the components of the soup that I'll be doing it now. Beautiful soup of html.txt and html.parser. So what it does is um, whatever the, uh, for example, the code, this html.txt consists of this code of this website the entire code okay the 15 43 lines of code and this we parse it in a html format using beautiful soup and store it in a variable named s so now s literally contains all of this saved it as dot html page now we try to extract the image elements so how do we do it uh, you can just use print s dot find all and what do we want to find image tag and i'll just save it on my desktop say images dot python whatever okay so what it does is in s it'll find all the tags of image because uh, let's say if you have this image it is embedded in an image tag you see img here this image tag and for that reason we try to find the image tags and if you executed this program hoping you will not get any kind of error see it shows you 50 lines that means it has 50 uh, what do you call it outputs okay so i'll just store it as brian img print I. maybe now it'll work see you got all the components of the images right from but if you see the URLs of the images here, they are stored in SRC. Right? So that is what we need. And how do we do that? For each image, we try to, sorry, for each image, we try to get the SRC attribute. Because in the SRC attribute is where the your lot image is, is stored okay so if you execute this now instead of getting the entire image tag you just get the link of the image where the image is stored just run it and see you see you get the entire image urls so if you say you visit this I copy it and I try visiting this I get the Walmart logo but what we did is only part what we did is just getting the URLs of the website uh, of the images but we want to save them in a folder right let's say we want to save them in uh, GitHub folder where we can, we have where we have all the images of the GitHub website, right? So for that reason, we have a library from Python called as URL lib. So import URL lib. So this library, what it does is it has all the components that you need. Uh, that uh, have connection with the URL like opening a URL closing a URL getting uh, context from a URL or even downloading files from a URL and what we are doing right now downloading files from a URL so we obviously need this okay so I'll store the URL in this URL underscore image so this contains the URL of the images right 
Now what I want to do is I want to save them in a particular folder. So since I have uh, this here, so I'm going to create a new folder, name it as GitHub Images, right? And in this images, this Python file is going to store the images in this folder, right? So let's do it. As you, so instead of writing your LIB again and again, I can just write it as you. So how do we do it? So first, we have to save the images in some format, give it some names. I prefer giving it names as numbers. So I just put K as one, and um, file name. What I want to give is number. JPG. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is you dot request dot URL retrieve. So what it does is in the URL library, you have a component called request, and it has a method called URL retrieve. What it does is it retrieves any URL that you give it here, and what is the URL that we're giving it here? the URL of the image and it needs a file name okay and the file name is fname that we are generating here but it has to be unique so we increment k for every image found but this is going to produce an error as you'll see later as you, and we want to store it in an images directory so uh, the images directory is uh, github underscore images so I'm going to copy that and paste it oh shit no. paste it here yep so if I execute it you're going to see how it works boom boom see I told you there's going to be an error the error is null URLs sometimes the image tags can have empty URLs I'll show you. See? The first one was github.com, the second one was github.com. The third one was null. That is, it has nothing. And that's what it's saying unknown URL type null. So, to overcome it, what we do is if URL underscore image. is not equal to null and your underscore image sorry and https dot slash slash and your underscore image so this makes sure that the URL image link is not empty and it has a HTTPS attribute inside of it. Okay, so now if we run and execute that, you might get an error depending on the website and you might not. You can just check the GitHub thing. See, it keeps increasing. It's automatically downloading the images. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. It is trying to download all the images that it can automatically. And yeah, the execution is done. And these are the images that are present on the website. Let me show you. You might have missed something, but oh god, web crawling, don't miss. Airbnb, SAP, IBM, Google, PayPal, Bloomberg, Spotify, Swift, Facebook, Node.js, NASA, Walmart. I've been sell, I've been to PayPal, Bloomberg, Spotify, Swift, Facebook, Node.js, NASA, Walmart. And this image is this. It's an SVG and that's the reason it's not being displayed. Actually, there's this .jpg but it's an SVG. That is the reason it's an error. And I want you, using your data structures knowledge, to, to know, you know, to find out if the image is a .jpg or .svg or even .png, I want you 
to do it as an assignment, like uh, a small test, so that you'll understand how to save images, how to save PNGs, uh, PNG formats, or JPEG formats, or SVG formats, right? So uh, the entire code is pretty simple and straightforward as it is in Python. That's the reason I chose Python. So it'll be available on GitHub, which is in the description below. So if you want to have any doubts or if my explanation sucks, uh, I think it is. I don't know why. Uh, I think I made it too long. Okay. I just want to make sure that everything is clear. There's a reason I made it too long. If my voice or something is bad, please tell me in the comments. I try to improve myself in every video as much as possible. And I'm not going to put any ads in this video. I'm not monetizing it. So, uh, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Um, thank you guys for watching it. Uh, hi, oh, I hope you're having a good time. And, you know, stay awesome.